God bless you guys. This is Sean here from Faith Brings Change. I just want to come on here and uh, talk with you all about uh, the Mark of the Beast. Uh, there's this um, there's this uh, film called The Cell that I had the dream of the people that took the Mark of the Beast, guys. And I told you a while back, I'll never forget that, how hopeless they looked when they came out of those bathrooms and they'd taken uh, the Mark of the Beast. And the people were separated in the, uh, two groups and I saw one group coming out laughing and cheerful and they looked so vibrant and I knew those were really angels in dreams. I mean, when you look at an angel, guys, you can just see no flaw in it. But it was representing the saints because we're going to be uh, brothers and sisters with them. We're going to have that perfection we had uh, with God from the beginning. You know, when he created us, he sent us into the world. The perfection he created us in because God doesn't create sinners, guys. We've We've all sinned when we came into the world. But when he sewed us into the womb, we were perfect. The same way as Lucifer was perfect from his generations. But they were coming out of the bathrooms. And, 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 and so like a pale, like no color on their face. And they looked so despondent and like zombies, guys. But far worse than any zombie. I mean, just no hope. Just all hope drained out of their face. And they were like walking like... They had no more will of their own. There was nothing up here. They looked confused like they don't know what happened to them. But but at the same time, they don't have uh, even a mind to really know to know what happened to them. They don't, I mean, they can't even think. It's like trying, for a person trying to think without thinking, being able to think. It's like they're trying to, uh, like, what? I mean, they, they can't, I can't even explain it, guys. And they were so despondent, they wouldn't even hardly, they wouldn't even respond or look at me. They were so out of it drain like zombies and at the end of this cell movie basically uh it shows the people looking like this go watch the ending to the cell it's on here of uh with john cusack you know uh not the not the cell movie but that uh guy memorized you know like that uh nightmare kind of movie but uh this uh cell movie with uh samuel jackson and, and uh john cusack and they and he's walking out and then just uh john cusack you know and just they're walking to this tower. You can see a row of body bodies, and underneath them is pitch black, and it looks like the uh, road they're walking on. But somehow it makes it look like they're from a distance. They're stars far away in a, in a, a, a dark galaxy. But you zoom in closer, and you see it's rows of this zombified people walking to this tower again, like that Tower of Babel. And, and he's walking among them, and accidentally, you know, got infected with whatever this was. It's like that, but it's worse than that. I mean, people can say, what a horrible ending. What a de so depressing ending to see that happen to him. But that's nothing compared when, when you realize that it's a humanity walking to the lake of fire, basically. They're on their way to worship that tower, like in the middle of that tower of Babel. They're going to that signal. The cell, basically, is uh, affecting some signal, affecting these cells, and people will get on their cell phones, and they'll get, um, like possessed and then it'll turn them into these uh turn them into these um like zombified states you know they'll they'll go they're willing to kill sometimes when they're activated they're slow kind of like resident evil but but the same thing satan wants to activate one of those bodies to use them for anything to kill one of the saints of god or something who don't take the mark if they're left here behind then he will. And again, I told you, Yeshua told me specifically, we're going through all three and a half years of the tribulation. There's going to be a war of some kind. It's going to escalate. And at the end of that period, we're going to have to leave our places, our houses for, for, and he told me no more than eight days, he'll come back for his people and we'll have to hide. We won't have a house. We will have to hide outside somewhere. If we're not in our sin, he will keep us hidden. He'll show us and maneuver us where we're able to hide away from our enemies. But but if if, but if, if not, for sure, we'll be caught and, and killed. And he said these two bodies of believers, you know, that, that from the word and the spirit of God that are in a sin, that would have to lay down their lives, you know. He said on the manner of Samson, you know, who sinned and then he was caught and he died and he pushed down those two pillars, you know. That's kind of a signaling of that. You know, and and Samson, you know, it, it's almost a, a warning to me if I continued in my sin uh, of what would happen because Samson representing like the head of those two witnesses and then uh, those two pillars, those two bodies of believers, you know, 
Yeshua explained what the Bible meant to me and everything. But uh, I don't want to get into that right now. You can just look up, uh, it says the two witnesses are the two golden candlesticks. Look up what a golden candlestick means and you'll understand what I mean when I say two bodies of believers. Look up a golden candlestick, what it means in the Bible. In uh, the book of Revelations, it tells you what the two witnesses are. But anyways, um, the, the people that took this thing, guys... They look so, their faces are, are, are the, almost the same color as that in that movie, The Cell. The same washed out color, but it's natural looking. I mean, it's not natural, but it's like it was so real looking, guys. They were like walking temples of doom. You just knew they were doomed. It's almost like they were trapped inside of their bodies, is what I, I got the impression of. These these are like walking houses, but, but they're tra trapped inside. These are not living temples. These are dead temples temples of uh doom as it were and it was so bad guys but they looked you know john cusack and them he can only act like he's a zombie but these people were really zombified when i saw the people took the mark and it was so sad for them i felt so heartbroken i've never seen humanity in that state you know worse than lobotomy and 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 and, and i hate satan for what what he's done this is what he's going to do to humanity i mean it's it's far worse than you think guys but you can go and watch that that cell movie, and there's something called a troth, or I, I can't remember the definition of it, guys. But it's basically taking thematic elements of a world and building a world to kind of tell a metaphorical story, you know, of metaphors. And and that's sort of what what I'm trying to do on here, troths, you know, taking these uh, visual thematic elements of film and using them because I I briefly you know got a degree in film, not long, but but enough to know the ins and outs of it. And so, you know, some of it at least. And and so, you know, that's why God, when you come out of sin, guys, in the world, God never just takes what you learned from those years of sin out. He just gets you out of the sin of those things. So he's not calling you to abandon your lessons. He's calling you back. After, after you uh, give up the world, he's calling you back to go down memory lane, guys. And, and remember all those things that you learned that would help other people. To free them from those same things you're in. And so that's why I'm doing that. And, and this whole WandaVision thing from Vision is basically... This vision, that which was the image of the beast, you know, it's not alive. She loved artificial life, and somehow he died, and somehow she recreates this entire world around her, and they, she can't leave a certain city, and it's like they're all in a cube. That's what I've been saying God has been showing me. It's like they're going to live in a uh, false reality. Just like the Matrix, you know? It's like they're going to put the world in a cube, as it were, a false reality. But, but And you see it pixelating, and that's the world. And so this is... Uh, uh, the trope I'm talking about, that metaphor, that in this uh, cube that I keep seeing, God is showing me the lies that they're doing in Hollywood. It's like people are living in a cube and it represents television. It represents so many different things. They're living in a digital lie, basically. Deception through the TV. And and the, a lot of these movies started with Poltergeist and it was showing uh, the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, Banner song. Uh, it was playing through the TV and you see these so-called aliens coming, and it's telling you it's political, but they're using politics, and they're using this alien thing to deceive people into this cube. And so a lot of those movies come from that concept of those, those, uh, those uh, what do you call it, aliens, and, and, and this political concept. It's all ushering them over to the New World Order, to the ultimate ending, is what I saw them taking the mark, and like in that movie, the march toward that tower. It was weird before I saw... That cell, after I woke up, a, a preview just popped up on my uh, on my YouTube uh, this morning. Uh, yesterday, I had been dreaming. God been, kept showing me a tower, you know, over and over. And so, he'll show me the things he wants me to look at during the day. And then, I won't even be trying to find what he's telling me. And he'll just give it to me, you know. And so, he, he's pointed me to all this. But don't take the mark of the beast, guys. And, and don't, don't sin at all. And, and stay away from... Uh, Stay away from the social media. You know, he showed me about this whole, uh, I just don't want to say too much because, you know, you can't say a lot of things on here. I'm saying 
that thing they tell us to take, that's not the mark based on what I saw, but that thing can destroy the body, you know. I want to say it, it does destroy the body, but I don't want, you know, I got to be careful what I say on here, you know. Because, you know, people's tongue hanging out of their mouths when they're taking and different things. One guy died after he take it, got pneumonia. That destroys the, the body. But this 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 mark destroys the soul, guys. And so it's a different thing because I saw the destruction. When you take it, it'll instantly destroy your soul. It's not one or two shots or three. I mean, it's not two shots, three or four. It's only one, one thing. Uh, one time you get marked. And and it's not a not a it's a mark you know and and it destroys your soul and so this is just a type of a destruction to the body you know because people some people can have that and nothing can happen and Yeshua told people uh, and and some people that uh you know had encounters with them that that it destroyed the body he didn't say anything about the the soul and you know he told me you know it's it's only it's only destruction of the body but he doesn't want people to take that but this thing this mark coming destroys the soul guys. And so destruction of the body, destruction of the soul, and then it allows a person's uh, spirit, everything to be overtaken about them. They have, they're spiritually dead, you know. Your, your spirit works with your soul. If you have no soul, you have no mind. Your soul means your mind. You can't, you can't think or coerce in the spirit. You have no relationship with God. Uh but I'm going to let you go, guys. I love you. I am praying for you. I freed up some space on my phone so I can make more videos. But I am praying for you guys. I love you. Take care of yourselves. Till next time. Shalom.